Okay, it's not this light. It's not that light there, and it's not this one here. It's the one right above it. Ah, uh, kind of hard to see it. That is a bright ass body of rock and hot gas. They say that men are from Mars and women are from Venus. Well, <laughs> I think I'd rather live on Mars than Venus. Venus is, that's hard why they say it, really. But, you know, back in the days, you know, Venus was beautiful. You know, uh, you know, of course, we didn't know what Venus was about. You know, we didn't know it was just a bunch of high compressed gas. And, you know, it, it was squashed us as soon as we even landed on that planet. And it squashes every single man-made product that's ever landed on that planet. You know, anything they send there, it only lasts in the atmosphere just for a few, you know, for a few minutes. And they're only able to get a glimpse of what it looks like underneath all the Venus clouds. So people actually thought that Venus was gorgeous from the outside. So people always said Venus is a representation of women in Mars is a representation of men. But when you look at it, I mean, I'm not saying Mars is livable. I mean, we can go to Mars and we die instantly as well because lack of oxygen and all that, but Mars is a lot more pleasant than Venus. But here's the thing, though. What you got to look at is that Venus is more like our planet than Mars is as far as the structure of it. Now, I'm not trying to be a man versus women or woman type of thing here because everybody's beautiful, man, woman, no matter what race or what type of thing you do for life, even if you're a street worker, Every single person is a beautiful being, and I treasure each and every one of you.